day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. Let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. New research confirms Alzheimer's disease is a form of diabetes. Some clinicians are starting to call it type 3 diabetes or diabetes of the brain. Researchers from Rhode Island Hospital report that Alzheimer's disease patients show brain insulin and insulin-like growth factor resistance even before symptoms appear. The team of researchers discovered that when brain insulin resistance develops, it causes an alteration of the brain's ability to process fats and lipids, just as type 2 diabetes affects the rest of the body. Well, this in turn causes an accumulation of toxic metabolic byproducts that inflame the brain. The process creates a vicious cycle that produces more more toxic compounds and more brain inflammation. Folks, this is a huge scientific breakthrough. It may not seem like it, but it is. Researchers have suspected that Alzheimer's is a form of diabetes for several years now, but this new research from Rhode Island Hospital proves it for the first time. Alzheimer's disease has its roots in insulin resistance, just as type 2 diabetes does. Now, the discovery is also timely, since experts predict we will have some 115 million new cases of Alzheimer's disease worldwide within the next 40 years. The research team reports that when Alzheimer's disease strikes, therapy should target all of these brain met metabolism abnormalities for best results. So the notion that Alzheimer's disease could be treated or even prevented by a single pill, according to these researchers, is naive and short-sighted. However, I am certain that vitamin D will be found to be an essential component of the Alzheimer prevention plan. Recently, a study found that among those at heightened risk for diabetes, those with the highest vitamin D levels were half as likely to go on to develop diabetes. And if the Alzheimer's disease and diabetes of the brain connection holds true, it would make sense that vitamin D would help prevent Alzheimer's disease as well. Curcumin from turmeric may help prevent diabetes. Researchers from Thailand evaluated 240 people at high risk for diabetes. They were given 1,500 milligrams of curcumin or a placebo each day over a nine-month study. The scientists discovered of 119 pre-diabetics who took curcumin, none of them went on to develop diabetes, while 19 of the 116 people who took a placebo for nine months, well, they did. They went on to develop diabetes. How does it work? The research... Related research from the University of California at Los Angeles found when curcumin is combined with vitamin D, it effectively prevents the accumulation of beta amyloid, the hallmark sign of Alzheimer's disease. Also, researchers from Michigan State University recently found curcumin helps to prevent the protein clumping that is an early sign of Parkinson's disease. Folks, let's make no mistake, all of this research on curcumin most all of it is in hopes of finding a molecule similar to curcumin that could be made into a drug, a drug that could be worth billions of dollars. And just as what has occurred with the grape skin extracted resveratrol, they will try to discredit curcumin while holding the newly patented drug based on curcumin as a true wonder drug. But rest assured, the new curcumin drug will have prohibitive side effects just as the resveratrol based drug did. Well, what do we always say? Yeah, you've watched before. That's right. Stick with the original. In this case, it's curcumin. And as today's news makes clear, if we combine curcumin with vitamin D and, of course, a pattern of healthy living and frequent exercise, we could spare millions from the agony of Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, and possibly even Parkinson's disease.